Well, hello there and welcome. Today I have for you a simple crafting system. The idea is you take items from shulker boxes, you craft them into another one, and then you store them into another set of shulker boxes. And this system helps you automate that process. So say, for example, you had iron from your iron farm and you wanted to craft it into iron blocks. So you could take the items out of the shulker box. It will automatically dispense another one. And you can keep doing this like so. I am using item scroller. It is a client side mod in order to craft these items very quickly. I will show you how to do that at the end of the video. And then once we've got a bunch of iron that has been crafted, we can dispense a shulker box over on this side. We can fill that shulker box with our items. We just need one more and that will fill the shulker box. And then once this shulker box is filled, it will automatically crush and dispense another shulker box. So that's how the system works. This is a very similar principle to Omango's crafting system. I actually used that for a while before I came up with this idea. The difference is that Omango's system will wait for you to close the shulker box before it crushes it and dispenses another one. And this one does not do that. There are some advantages depending on what you're crafting. If you ever need to put items back into the shulker box, then Omango system will work better. But if you're always grabbing all the items, like if you're crafting ingots into blocks, you're always going to grab the entire set of items from the first shulker box and you're never going to put them back in. The system is just a little bit faster. And if you're using something like item scroller, having to wait for the shulker box to be dispensed, that time actually adds up if you're crafting a lot of, lot of items. So I decided not to have it wait for the shulker box to be closed in order to speed up the process. That also makes the system quite a bit more simple and quite a bit easier to build. We'll start at the floor level. I like to put the chest into the floor level. So we'll just put some double chests right here. Double chest, single chest, doesn't really matter. And it's always pretty useful to have an ender chest out here. So right here would be a good spot to put an ender chest. Put a solid block between them. And then hoppers out of the back of both of these chests. Put soul sand on top of the hoppers. And then on this side, the left side, we're going to place two temporary blocks out this way. So we can place two solid blocks over here and then place redstone dust on the first one, and then a t repeater on four ticks right there. It's gonna be pointing into an observer. It's gonna point in towards this soul sand here. On the end of that observer, we're gonna place a solid block right next to the soul sand, and then on top of that solid block is where we're gonna place our dispenser. Then we're gonna to come to the back where this redstone dust is, and the block that it's on, I wanna place a temporary block right next to, so that I can place a block on top of that. And then I want to place another block on top of that one and a block in front of it. So we've got this little L shape here. On the other side, I want to place a redstone torch on the side of this top block. It should fire off this redstone dust right here. And then on this block here, I want to place a comparator pointing into that block. Place a solid block on the end of the comparator and another solid block on top of that. And then we want to put a sticky piston right on top of this repeater here. It should go off because of the redstone torch. And I want to place a observer pointing in towards us right here, in towards this comparator here, right on the end of that sticky piston. Place a solid block on the end of that, right above the uh, comparator. And then we want a repeater pointing towards the front of the thing on two ticks. We'll come down here. We're going to place a sticky piston on the end of that repeater, like so. And then place a half slab right underneath it, like that. And that is all there is to the dispensing side. And then for the storage side, we want to put a temporary block back behind the soul sand here so we can place two solid blocks, one pointing towards the outside. We remove the temporary block. We want to put a comparator on the first one, redstone dust on the second one, and then we'll, the one with the redstone dust, we want to put a switch lever on the front side and power it. And then we'll come over behind it and we're going to place a sticky piston on the back of that block with an observer pointing forward on top of it. Then we're gonna place two solid blocks on top of the comparator and the redstone dust. And we're gonna place two more solid blocks, one on top of the lever, another one leading right into that comparator there, and then another solid block on this block behind the soul sand. So we got this little shape like that. And we'll place redstone dust on top of these two top blocks, and then repeaters pointing towards the front on top of these ones, both of them. So this one's going to be on two ticks, this high one. This one's going to be on three ticks. And we'll come on down again. We're going to place our sticky piston and half slab. 
at the end of this repeater here. And then we also need our dispenser to be on the front of this block right there. And that's all there is for the storage side. And then we can finish it up with some hoppers on top of our dispensers here. We'll put some double chests leading towards the front here so we can get at the chest because we can put some walls around here. Put, we can put a crafting table right there. Walls over on this side, like so. Not there. And then I like putting walls right here and here so you can't see through. A light source right there will light the entire thing, so you don't need to worry about any light on the rest of the thing. And then walls right here. Don't put walls on top of these chests here. You can use slabs or stairs or something like that. And that's the crafting system. Oh, and you want to place buttons right there and right there so you can manually dispense the shulker boxes when you need to. So Item Scroller is a client-side mod. I will put a link in the description, and that means that it doesn't need to run on the server. It can be used with a vanilla server as long as it's okay with your server admin, and it will speed up this process quite a bit. The first thing you can do with Item Scroller is you can grab all the items out of the shulker box very, very quickly. You can use the Alt button and then your mouse wheel. If you scroll up on your mouse wheel, it will move all the items into my inventory from that shulker box. The second thing I can do is the very quick crafting. So if I'm in the crafting menu, usually better if you close this menu right there and you hold the A button, you will get this option right here. You wanna select one of these recipes with the left mouse button and then I will set a recipe up in the thing and then I will hold the A button again. I will middle mouse click on this block of iron here and that will set the crafting recipe right there. And then if you go into your config, which is I plus C, and we go down, I've actually changed my option. Normally it is Control Alt C. There we are. Uh, mine is Alt C, but it the default is Control Alt C. I've changed mine to make it a little easier to click. So once you've set that, then I would go into my crafting thing and I just set that, use that hotkeys, and that will auto craft all the items. And then we can grab them and you can use the same thing here. I can use alt and then scroll up on my mouse wheel and that will move all of those items into the shulker box. It's a very handy mod. Makes crafting a lot of items so much quicker. I'll include a world download and a schematic in the description if you are interested. The world download will also include the crafting system that's behind me that has a whole bunch of storage attached to the top there. It's a very handy system that I've used a couple times already. Let the lights let you know how much more you have to craft. So if you have a farm that creates an awful lot of items, and it's a very handy system that you can use in your own world if you want it. So that's all I have time for today. I want to thank you very much for watching. I hope you enjoyed this tutorial, and I hope to see you again real soon. Bye now!